and welcome to my binding how-to videos. Today we're answering the question, how to use a comb binding machine. Certainly one of the most popular and economic ways of binding a book, presentation, or project is with plastic combs. There are a number of comb binding systems on the market. Let's look at one, all of its parts, and how it works. First, let's look at all the basic parts of a common comb binding machine. Almost all comb binding systems will have a punch, either electronic or manual, that punches holes through your entire project consistently. In terms of binding, there will be a lever that is the comb opener, opens the plastic combs, and allows you to thread your project through and close the comb around it. Most comb binding systems have margin control knobs or dials, and some systems even have depth of margin control knobs that allow you to change the margin size according to size of project. Many comb binding systems will have measuring tools that help you choose the right size comb for the thickness of your specific book. And since the chips must fall, a waste bin is built into the machine. On this Echo Bind C made by Achilles, let's watch a step-by-step -step demonstration of a book being made. Beginning with the covers, place them face down on the punched side into the throat of the machine. This is where the side margin control and depth of margin control knobs come into play. You set them so all punches will be consistent throughout your project. And you make your punch. This is certainly where electronic punching and punch capacity make all the difference. Spend the time that you need to punch through the rest of the papers in your project. And now you've arrived at the binding part, and first is comb selection. This is where you use the built-in measuring tools to make sure you get the right size comb for the thickness of your book. Once you have selected your comb, you feed it onto the teeth of the comb opener. Use the lever on the machine to open the teeth of the comb. Now it's time to thread your project over the teeth of the comb. This is a little tricky at first, but you'll get the hang of it. Close the teeth of the comb with the same lever, and you're all set. Certainly all machines and systems work differently, but that's the basics of how to use a comb binding machine. For more how-tos, demos, and reviews of specific products or other systems, check out mybinding.com.